farmstead at the beach. 500 and what is it? Just right at 500. Just right at 500 yards. Four. In the white. Hole number four. He knocked that right down the middle. And not bad. Alrighty, hole number four at Farmstead, 430 yard par five. We did not record the first three holes, but uh, there's been some excitement. Gavin nearly holed one out on a chip from 50 yards. They made par on the last hole, so they're playing good so far. See what Gavin can do off the tee. He needs a good, low driving golf shot. And he's hit a bust wow. right down the right hand Great side. Shot. Missed the bunker. Yes, he did. Great did drive. Hit the Hitting the ball well All today. Right, scratch gopher. He is straightening up those tee balls today. Hitting it solid. Hole four, Farmstead 430. And he's hit it to the right towards that bunker. I do believe he's hit it into the bunker this time, but he hit the ball hard. Is this hole five? Yes, it is. Yeah. Farmstead at the beach. It's hard to see this ball, but hit it high. See? See what big boy can do. Oh my goodness, that... Hole number five, playing right at 255 yards for them. Do not know exactly where the flag is, but I think it's got to be relatively straight. And he is down the left-hand side. A little bit of a fade coming in, should be pretty good. Like I said, don't really know exactly where the flag is, so I don't know if that's All a right. good hole five, 255 yards, par four, coming off a sweet putt there on the last hole from Paul Paul to tie Christopher Jared. They are beastly today. And he's hit it down the middle, but it's running, but I think the dude's gonna get that Ready, one. Ready, hole number six. Par three. 135. 135 yards. Kick this off to the left side. Is it coming back? Oh, it kicks the opposite direction. Oh, we go. Alrighty. Hole number six, Farmstead, playing 97 yards. The seven iron has been a deadly weapon for Gavin today. Let's see if he can uh, keep up that momentum. Not this time. All righty, hole six. About 97 yards. He's down the left hand side. Stay right there. He's going to be just left of the green. A little chip up. Oh, number seven. 400. 400 yards. Wow, that was beautiful. Right at that 150 stake. All righty, hole seven. 340 yards for these guys. I'm gonna pull the sleeves up. It's starting to get hot out here. It's uh, probably in the upper 70s now. All right, these guys have been playing pretty good. After a near chip in on the last hole, Gavin is now Riding some momentum, he needs to aim it right inside of that 150 stake. And he's done exactly what I told him not to do. 
and he's hit it in the right bunker. Okay, we got old Scratch Gopher. Uh, he is on hole seven, 340 yards. Uh, I think Gavin is either in the bunker or just short of it. So, Paul Paul has got to step up and hit one down the fairway right here. Nope, not that time. All righty, here it goes, nothing. Hole number eight, 370 yards. We had no idea where the hole is once again. If we knew where the hole was and it was straight, that would be a pretty good shot. Maybe. All righty, hole eight. Paying 310 yards. Gavin's goal is to be at 150 left. That's a 160 tee ball here at the beach. But uh, he can do it. He's just got to really turn into it. So let's see a good shift turn and bring the heat. And he's hit it down the left-hand side. I don't think he caught it extremely solid, but he is in the fairway. All right, hole number eight. We say all right and all right here. We do. That's a that's a signature saying. Oh wait, to play him 310 yards. Papa's hit a good drive, but it's blocked to the right, going towards the bunker. He might be in the sand. Alrighty. Hole number nine, 460 yard par five. There's a truck out there spraying fertilizer on everything. And he hit it way right. And he went over that bunker. That'd be okay. Yep. All right, here we are on hole nine for 370 yard par five. Gavin. Good hit. Right down the middle. Alrighty, you got Paw Paw hole nine, 370 par five. Busted it right down the middle of the fairway. That's what I'm we, talking uh, about. We haven't put every shot on camera, but sometimes you regret not doing it. Little man right here. Hit a nine iron from 80 yards and nearly put it in a hole. So Gavin, why don't you just put that in so give yourself a birdie. Just show it on camera. Great birdie. Give the camera a thumbs up. Okay, um, hole number 13, 360. It's par four. You said you're gonna keep it off to the right. And he actually not did he didn't put it a little to the right, he put it in the high stuff. Yeah, my out need there. To read. I have to put it on camera, but I'm just going to because I am a kid and he didn't record my Oh yes, that's a that was a good one. That was a good one. All righty, hole 13. We have uh, decided to start recording again since we missed one of the greatest shots in the history of golf. Hole 13, playing 305, into the wind. He's going to need a big hit to get to the 150. And he has drilled it right down the middle. All right, good drive. All righty. I don't want to destroy it, but it's into the wind. Might as well give it a look. He says he's going to give it a little extra. This is hole 14. And he, it looks like he absolutely destroyed it, but it's into the wind, so it's probably not going to go too far. Maybe. Alrighty, hole 14, par 5, 410 yards. The uh, Gavin and Paul Paul is even par through four holes back here as Chris pulls three over. So they are he, they are whipping him on the back. And it's because of drives like this. He's blocked it a little right yeah, this time. Like that will beat him. He's okay. He's safe. All He's right. safe. 
Gavin's hit it off to the right a little bit. It's not too bad. But Paw Paw is ready to get the momentum going. You guys are even par through four holes back here. So let's step it up. Oh, baby. Right down the middle. That courtesy hugs right there. Yeah. Oh, you can't beat those moments. 15. Start of the stretch holes. It's probably about uh, 178. 175, right here. Down the middle, off the left. On the green. Okay, hole 15, 122 yards. This time it's a par three. I am going to get it on camera just in case Gavin knocks it in the hole which we just about missed. But these guys are even par through five holes on the backside. It's just been clutch, this whole backside. Uh, he pulled this one, caught it a little chunky. Not the best shot. All righty, hole 15. 122 yards here at Farmstead. And he's blocked it to the right. right. Hole number 16, 380-yard paw fall. Let's see your biggie. Wow, he pulled it left. Perfect. He's probably in the water. I don't know. It's a little left. All right, hole 16. And wouldn't you know it, Paw Paw saved him on the last hole with a par. Great putt. And now here they are in hole 16. So they've had six. Well, actually, no, they're, they're even par through six holes back here. Need a big drive here. And he's blocked it a little right, but it could be fine. I think he'll be okay. He's just a little right, but it's going to be right, fine. All right, Paul, he's up. See if he can catch him another big drive on camera. Yes, he did, right down the middle. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Good drive. All right. Let's see another one of them hugs. Oh, those wonderful ball. moments caught on camera. Ready, hole 17, stretch holes. It's probably about 185, is that what you said? 145. 145. Pushed it a bit right. You're on the green though. Okay, Not here right. we are on hole 17 farmstead, playing 110 yards. Gavin has been hitting the seven iron really well, so he is gonna go with a seven iron on this, pin is in the back. He can play a sweet little draw shot here. He should be just fine. And he's hit it well, has a little draw, but it's on the right hand side. He's on the right side of the green. Man, you put some power behind that thing. All right, he's just right of the green. Good All shot. All right, here we are, hole 17, 110 yards. Gavin is on the right side of the green. Paw Paw's going to attempt to draw one into the hole. He's blocked it off to the right. Alrighty, final hole. This time, not a par three, not a par four, not a par five, but a par six. 760 yards. And then we decided to make a, a different turn and we are going to all play backs we're at the black tees right the thing now. about this course the thing about this course is we start in the state of south carolina and we end in the state of north carolina so if anybody ever says that you hit one across the state it's getting ready to happen yep that's what he said start in north carolina and end in south carolina i can't remember one or the other 
I think we start in south and end in north. All right, we need a big T ball to get it started here. There's my stuff. <laughs> he popped that one. You saw he wanted to kill that ball. It's a par six, you know? Tell me the All righty. Once again, a 760-yard par six. Here is Eric Bailey's Mulligan. Chris Bull. <coughs> and he pulled that one left. <laughs> you can hit a triple Mulligan, I guess. Okay. okay, here we are on hole 18, par six. I feel big now. Gavin feels big. He's playing back here on the tips with dad. Because he says, I'm not going to come out here and play the ladies' tees on a par six. You got to see the course. That's it, you good one. Oh, wait, we didn't even do any incentive packages. Uh oh. Yeah, it's going to be tough from back here. Let's go ahead and hit this one. We'll figure it out. And that was ripped right down the middle of the fairway. That's how you hit. That's how you start a par six. Paul's wanting to know if somewhere in between this hole we might actually come into West Virginia. And you know, I'm not going to lie to you. That first drive I hit might have actually been in West Virginia because it was so far right. All right, so here's Paul Paul, 760 yard par six, playing it all the way back with us. You got to admire someone like that. And he's hit it good. He's hit it good. All right, good ball. Final hole, par six. His third shot, he's going with the hybrid. And I don't know where that went. Popped up, but it should be in the fairway. Maybe. Like I said, we started in South Carolina. We have ended in North Carolina. And here's Gavin. All right, here is their fifth shot. It is a beast from all the way back there. Playing at 180 yards to the hole. And he's hit it pretty good. Didn't catch all of it, but he's right down the middle of the fairway. Let's put Paw Paw here on camera. It's their fifth shot. Let's see if he can hit a good shot. Get that thing up close. And he did hit it well. Yes. That is right down the pike. Right. Wave to the fans. All righty. 92. 92 yards to the pin that par six. And he's hit it down the middle. Oh. And he's in the bunker. All right, Gavin's uh, final shot of the day, hopefully. 66 yards, he has got a sand wedge. And he is going to fly it in the hole, he said. Now you're I'm saying flat in a hole. Okay. All right. He's hit these shots pretty good today. He's hit the stick a number of occasions today. He's pulled that just a little bit. That is yeah. with Daddy in the. All bar. right, Paul. Paul. Final shot of the day. Par six. Hole eighteen. We are in North Carolina right now. We started the hole in South Carolina. Oh yeah, be on the green. And he is on the green with a putt for a seven, I believe. All right, incentive package alert. Gavin has played so well today, I'm giving him an incentive package to only two putt this for 20 bucks. If he makes it, it's 40 bucks. So all you got to do is two putt. So it is in your hands for an easy 20 bucks. So I have to uh, play my ball? 
Yeah. Yeah, only your putt. This looks good. This looks real nice. This looks real nice. All right, I've got to, I've got to see you make it All though. All right, Gavin's putt. I'm gonna miss for it. For twenty bucks, you gotta have confidence. Twenty bucks, if he makes it. Boom! You, you finally are gonna make money. I finally on the won package. Something.